Hi, it's Alex. This is a follow-up video to the video I recently posted about a bad thinking pattern that teachers may inadvertently encourage. The video was pretty well received overall, but there were two people who left comments on my Facebook, you won't see them on the video itself, that they were very offended by the video. And I read the comments and I actually rewatched the video quite carefully. And I'm pretty sure that the, com the comments were based on a misunderstanding of the video, but I still wanted to address the concerns in them, because I think they're kind of serious ones. Both of these people suggested that I was blaming teachers for my own depression. That is not the intent of my video, and that's not what I said in the video. I understand, though, that it's possible for people to misinterpret things, and that I could have been a little bit clearer. So I want to talk a little bit about how I think about cause and effect with something like depression or an anxiety disorder. I think that depression is a very complex phenomenon, and I think there are a lot of different factors that come into play. There are genetic factors, predispositions, there are lifestyle factors, which include diet, amount of exercise you're getting, there are life circumstance factors, like stressors and events happening in your life, and I think one of the biggest factors, which I was getting at in the video, is belief system and way of thinking. But your belief system is formed from so many different influences. In, even if you're just looking at school or teachers, teachers are telling you lots of different things. Even one teacher is going to tell you a lot of different things. And I don't think that that idea that I was talking about in the previous video is the sole cause of depression. I think that would be kind of a ridiculous claim and one that you couldn't really back up with a solid argument. But I do think that it contributes to an unhealthy thinking pattern which can contribute to depression or like make someone more likely to experience depression. I believe in tackling depression from multiple angles, so I want to sort of break down one thing at a time, tackle all these little different facets of it. That idea that I was trying to communicate about in the last video is what I perceive as one facet of depression or one possible contributor to depression. I don't think of it as a sole cause. Now, I also wanted to address the idea of blame. I think blame is something that I really don't like, and it's something that I don't want to do. Um, sometimes I do blame people. It's something that I struggle with. I think I have like a tendency to blame people in certain situations. Uh, I don't think I was blaming anybody in that previous video. I think I did a pretty good job when I watched over it. I think I did a pretty good job of of identifying the idea and targeting the idea rather than the people. I don't really believe in good people or bad people or I think that people are complex. This relates to my idea of not blaming people. I don't want to ever come across as blaming anybody under any circumstance. So if you're getting that from a video, it's not what I'm intending to communicate. And if you think that I'm actually blaming people, like my words directly suggest that I'm blaming people, then please call me out on it and please point out specifically what I'm saying that you're interpreting in that way. Because I don't want to do that. I want to address that. I want to say, uh, I don't like this thing that this person is doing. That doesn't necessarily mean I'm blaming the person. Like People can do things that I think are bad things and that I think have bad results but I don't necessarily think it's their fault, and I don't necessarily think that they have bad intentions. I don't know what their intentions are, but I like to generally give people the benefit of the doubt. So I hope this clarifies my intentions in the last video, and I hope it gives you some insight into how I think about these things, and I hope that you can have a little bit more confidence that I'm not going to be blaming people, but again, if you perceive that, please call me out on it. Please point out what you're perceiving in that way. Thank you.